first of all i'm going to just go to the location where java is installed so just uh, open your folder explorer and then uh, go to the c directory and then i'm going to go to the program files where java folder is created and then in my case jdk 17.0.1 uh, is created in your case this folder name version can be different so just go uh, to this folder right now in order to set the environment variable for java what you need to do you can just click on the search icon once again and then just type edit env here which is going to show you this result which says edit environment variable for your account and it's going to open this kind of window you can also open this edit environment variable using control panel so you can search for uh, control panel and then just view by category here and then click on system and security then click on system and then once the system window opens you can click on advanced system settings and then click on environment variables which is also going to show you the same window right so you can choose any method to open this uh, environment variable window and once this is open you need to click on the path environment variable under system variables and then click on edit and here you need to add the path to your jdk folder binaries so go to the folder where we have installed java until a jdk folder and then click on uh, bin folder so we need to go inside the bin folder inside this jdk folder and then copy the path right so until bin and then copy this path from here go to uh, the environment variable window once again and then you can double click here or you can click on new which is go also going to show you this option and then just paste this path until bin and then press enter which is going to add this path to your environment variables so click on ok so your java environment variable is set now some application also needs the java home environment variable on your windows operating system to uh, run them so let me show you how you can set the java home environment variable also so you can go at the top under user variable uh, section and then click on new here and then the variable name you need to provide here is java underscore home everything is capital just write whatever i have written here everything is in capital and the variable value will be the folder which we have opened which is uh, jdk folder so don't go inside the bin folder in this case just copy the path until jdk folder you don't need to go inside the bin folder in this case okay and then just paste this path under variable values okay so you can see there is no bin folder added here only the path until the jdk folder click on ok and then click on ok and then click on ok which is going to set the environment variable for java on your windows 11 operating system now once you have installed java and set the environment variables you can use java on command line so you can uh, just open the command prompt by typing cmd once again and then I can type Java space hyphen uh, version here and it's going to show me the version of Java so you can see Java version 17.0.1 is installed on my Windows 11 operating system now if you want to compile a Java file you can use the Java C command so you can just write Java C space hyphen version here and then press enter and you can see the java c version is also same so as i said you can use java c to compile a java file on your windows 11 operating system 